Hello, and welcome to another Excel tip about charts. So in this Excel tip, we're going to talk about area charts and how to create them and how to interpret them. So here I have some data that we're going to use to create um, an area chart, and it's a bunch of renewable energy data. So let's look at um, we, what we have. We have hydroelectric power production in quadrillion BTUs, or quads, geothermal, solar or photovoltaic energy production, wind energy production, biomass energy production, and then we have the total renewable and the total primary. So we're going to create a few different area charts so we get a sort of a feel for this. The first thing I'm going to do is create an area chart of just the renewable energy sources. So we're not going to include the total. We're going to include all of the renewables. So I'll go ahead and drag that down all the way down to our lowest data set. I'll select all the data. And what's nice is that if we go to insert and recommended charts, so we get a bunch of different things. So first, actually, let's look at a line. And let me show you um, how that sort of looks. And we'll move the chart so we can um, so we can get a better look at it. So let's move it to a new sheet. And you can sort of see, you know, it's an okay chart. We can we can see some trends and whatnot. But it's it's sort of you know difficult to see some things, and and it's and it's a little bit messy. So I like to do for this type of data, I like to do an area chart. So let's change the chart type. And if we go back to recommend it, it's actually the second one. And this is called a stacked area. So this shows the quadrillion BTUs on the left. And um, on the x-axis, it's the year. And then you can sort of see the legend down here. So we can see right away that hydroelectric, which is the light blue, and biomass, which is the dark blue, make up a large proportion of this. And then wind is the next one, and it's growing. And then we have geothermal. Um, which is the orange, and photovoltaic, which is the gray. Um, so, so you can sort of see a relationship that, that comes out here. The weird thing about area is we don't measure from, so this does not mean we have six point something um, quads of, of, of biomass. It's what the, the top of here to the bottom. So we have a little bit, you know, about two quads of biomass in 1984. So it's the difference between these two, so which makes it a little bit different than a line chart. So this is instructional, but let's do one other thing to make it a little bit um, another way to sort of look at the same thing. We're going to do a 100% stacked area. So what that means is now it's sort of like a, it takes, this is 100% of the total of all of the categories we did, and then it splits it up. So what we can see is that over time, hydroelectric is a less and less percentage and wind is, is more and more percentage, and biomass stays relatively the same. Now, if we do an undo, that's a little hard to see from this plot because everything is increasing in this plot, so it's a little hard to see what how the share differs. Um, so that's the um, sort of difference between 100% stacked area, which is this, and the regular stacked area. So that's sort of the idea. Let's, let's look at one other sort of area chart that we can... Um, look at with our annual data here. Let's just look at, instead of um, instead of all the renewable energy, let's just look at renewable energy versus fossil. And we'll just take a look at this data. So let's go ahead and insert a recommended chart. And again, we'll see sort of what happens over time with this area chart. So the renewable energy production, and actually let me move this again. The renewable energy production hasn't really changed much. And the fossil fuel production, uh, the, or the total primary energy production, which includes that, is here too. So, um, you know, this probably isn't the best use of an area chart. It doesn't show many trends. Um, let's see if we look at the 100% stacked area. Same sort of thing. It doesn't show many trends. So this is probably an, an example of a, of a chart that you really don't need um, an area chart to show, and you might get you might be better off showing it with a bar chart or something other than other than this. So that's the basic idea here. Is um, you know some of these charts, and that's always what's going to happen. Some charts are going to be better than others. So we can see this is a this is a very good use of an area chart.
and this is not. So that's about it for area charts. Um, try them out and see if see if they fit the data and see if they they display the data well and display trends. Thanks for watching.